Here's some tips and tricks for your Texas Instruments graphing calculator to save time and avoid mistakes. Now, let's take it to the test. I'm going to show you fast, simple, and accurate ways to graph a function and locate points on a graph with your calculator's trace feature. But first, let's make sure your calculator is set up right. Press the second key to activate the blue commands over the keys. Then press Format, the blue command over the Zoom key. Your settings should look like this. If you have to fix something, arrow to the correct setting and press Enter. This is important. These settings make it a lot easier to read your graphs. Now, for our next trick. We will set the boundary values for the X and Y axes. This is called setting the window. Press the window key. For standardized tests, it's best to start with values of negative 10 to 10 for both axes. If something doesn't look right, you can set the values manually here. Or hit zoom and select Z standard to restore the standard window settings. Now, let's get an example of something you might see on the test. Let's graph a single function, y equals 2x minus 4. Start with the y equal key, then press 2x minus 4. Now, graph the function by pressing graph. This is what your graph should look like. Now, let's find a point on that graph using the trace feature. Press the trace key. That sets the cursor at the middle of the x values. Notice we see the values for x and y. You can right or left arrow to move along the function. But if you're looking for a specific value, say, what is y when x is 3, just type in 3 and press Enter. The cursor will jump to that point. So when x equals 3, y equals 2. Great. OK, so now you know graphing basics, how to set up your calculator, graph a function, and use the trace feature to find a point on that graph. The Tips and Tricks document has all this and more. Download it now and use it to practice for the test. Be sure to check out the rest of the Tips and Tricks for test success videos. And hey, good luck on that exam.